So welcome everyone once again to my channel Simulation Engineer. As you can see on the screen today, today's topic is um, how you can make an invoice maker using this uh, WPS spreadsheet app. It's going to be a small demo just like uh, as usual I always do for the WPS tips and tricks. If you have uh, not seen uh, my other tutorials on using WPS uh, spreadsheet uh, tips and tricks I have made a separate playlist just go visit my channel subscribe my channel and have a look and on this uh, playlist and uh, I will request you to join uh, this uh, this this video session and watch it till the end so um, this topic in voicemaker using WPS spreadsheet going to be a very very interesting uh, video and I will show you how you can make an invoice uh, uh, within um, five minutes and uh, which you can later on change it uh, um, as desired okay so um, before we really uh, jump into how to uh, make this invoice maker I will just show you um, a small uh, glimpse uh, what it really looks like okay so uh, we will be making an invoice um, of uh, such uh, such design or such style so you can see this is uh, the name of the company and you want to do an invoicing to a, pr a particular company so you are billing to uh, you can add a date invoice number and product name quantity unit price amount and in the end you can even add some subtotal like uh, excluding the the sales tax and tax trades you can add discounts and uh, finally you will be having a total total amount which you are your company to be to to pay against uh, the product you have uh, sold out so uh, I think uh, without uh, further wasting any time um, let's uh, jump into our invoice maker session all right uh, so once once you have opened your uh, WPS spreadsheet session uh, the thing which you really need to do is uh, you can see these uh, tabs uh, on the top of your this this menu on the WPS spreadsheet app you just go to the tools menu and in the tools menu you can see on the very extreme right it's called invoice maker so what you need to do is just click this button and it will automatically open an invoice maker template so now what we will do is uh, we will just uh, try to fill out these this uh, these forms or these small sheets and uh, enter our desired data which will be updated accordingly on the left side of our screen let's say we the write the name of a company who is selling uh, uh, who is selling the product for example it's a, it's a company of uh, who's selling um, computer uh, devices or computer products so we we name the company as uh, computech okay so the name of the company so it's computech at email.com address will be uh, computech city and currency it is uh, whatever currency you want for example i will choose here euros and contact number is it, it is like uh, optional if you wanted to give the contact number you can add a contact number or you can leave it as empty but uh, we can say um, any number so and uh, then you simply apply once you apply that you will get your data here yeah once if you see there is a there's a small uh, sign of this green triangle which, which means that there is some some error or you need to convert uh, the text to the number so you simply press this one you will get the proper format that uh, now it's a, this cell is a number format okay so if you want you can add some further more uh, uh, companies uh, which are selling so you can have uh, uh, invoice uh, or billing from two different departments of the same company we can also add some more here if you are happy with this one we will move on to the client and we say uh, the name of the client is uh, uh, soft uh, soft dev let's say it's a software developer company and they have uh, purchased some some products from you so um, soft dev at email.com and then we will say the address will be like soft soft dev city if you wanted to add once again a number you can again add that so let's say zero two three five seven eight something like this and then you apply it right so we have our details available here and then uh, we will move on to the items 
so what uh, i do is i have already uh, added some some items uh, but uh, we can also delete that and just to demonstrate properly uh, so i can say delete this one delete this one right so the product name uh, we the, the company computech so it has uh, sold like about several items or for example we will say a hard disk drive hard disk drive and uh, the rate is like uh, let's say it's about 120 euros how many quantities let's say we have sold out three and then uh, we add another product the name of that product will be uh, usb uh, flash drive version 3 it rate is about let's say 12.99 euros and how many so the company bought about 15 one so once i apply it you will see that it has updated on the left side of the screen with the the product name so if we want you can add some more so you can say um, lcd monitors monitors so 17 inches let's say so the rate is like uh, 220 euros each so they have got about five so all right so i think now we just select this and apply it it's now added so once you are done with this one the last uh, part or the last step in this invoice maker is uh, the discount and tax so you can say i wanted to give a discount of about five percent and then sales tax uh, or rate is about 19 percent so once you apply it then on the left side you go down and scroll it so this is the total so it's a subtotal amount this one and this is the tax rate so we said it's 19 percent and we wanted to give a discount rate of so which is five percent so we have a 19 percent tax which is about 314 euros and discount of five percent five euros so if you want you can increase that uh, but this is just uh, for the demonstration purpose and then you have a total amount of like this and if you have any other questions you can simply ask uh, to this uh, desired company you know uh, this is the company you have here and you if you want you can add an uh, invoice number so you can say it's a uh, soft dev number one so it's the first invoice of the company soft dev right so this is how you can make an uh, invoice very quickly within five minutes as uh, the title says and then uh, you have uh, an option of choosing several templates so if you it's it's all about uh, your uh, liking if you not happy you can choose some other color other colorings you know so uh, how it really looks like and once you are happy with it then you simply go to this option export so you can export to a pdf file export to a picture you can send it via electro electronically via email or you just uh, send it via a link so you have a http server or you simply give it to your customer the link and he can download this invoice so i mean there are lots of other options um, to really uh, go through this and uh, finish out and finally reach out to your customer with your invoicing so as said i think uh, that's about it it's uh, really not very difficult um, you can imagine this making this invoice will make uh, require a lot of time to do that and uh, to do really all this kind of formatting especially these and you need to have um, proper knowledge of excel if, if this is for somebody uh, who is running a business and he don't have really a time to do and uh, to do an invoice uh, so you can use this invoice maker tool in wps spreadsheet it's really a quick way to make an invoice uh, for your customers uh, with this i conclude my video today and i will request once again you guys to support my channel and uh, subscribe share and like it among your friends family and colleagues and keep supporting my channel and uh, i will repeat once again um, that don't forget to uh, turn on the bell icon so that you will get uh, all the notifications as uh, the moment i upload a new video and um, finally um, i have uh, once again up, uh, made a playlist uh, wps tips and tricks go there and visit this uh, interesting playlist where i have uh, wps trick tips and tricks for on different topics uh, maybe one of them will be helpful for you guys with this uh, take care have a nice day 
Thanks for taking all your time to watch my video. Bye bye till next time.